Hello guys, RGG here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm finally releasing my tool my pack generator This is the tool right here and as you see it has a whole range of items If you don't know what this is this tool basically allows you to combine resource packs together into your own personal pack So for example if I like the fateful wooden sword, but I like the sfax Stone sword I can combine those and still keep the default tools of the rest uh, or the, the default items and blocks of the rest of uh, Minecraft and basically generate my own pack with that which is really cool it saves a lot of work a lot of time and you can have some settings here as well you could even add your own resource packs to it uh, to the selection here which is really cool so before I start off with showing how this tool works and how to use it I'll quickly go over the my pack installation sequence so um, from the download in the description you can find this file right here just double click it when you when you're done and it will get prompt you with this if it gives you an uh, an error that it's unsafe, just uh, keep opening. Uh, yeah, do open it. It's not. There's nothing unsafe to it. It's 100% safe here. Um, and basically, it tells you to select a safe directory. Um, you can do it to your desktop, but you can select more if you want to, um, which is not a problem. Um, so I'm going to click cancel because, of course, I've already installed it and even opened it for you. So that saves a little time. Uh, so once you're done, uh, you can open the tool right here. Uh, you can open it. Uh, and I recommend making a shortcut to the desktop instead of copying the item because if you copy it It doesn't work on your desktop So keep it inside of its own folder and make a shortcut to your desktop not a copy Okay, uh, that's for later for this episode. Let's go back to my pack. There you go uh, So as I said you can choose this you could also uh, Change blocks, but if you click blocks for the first time after opening the tool uh, You'll see that it takes a little while before it starts up and there you go um, it now works fully. It, it just just takes a little while, and now you can switch uh, with, uh, between them as much as you want. There's also an about section here, which basically gives the credit to all the uh, users I use the resource packs from, and of course I've asked their permission. Um, so yeah, that's you can yeah choose the packs from here. You can also add your own, as I said. Uh, so for example, uh, just just click the button, and it uh, gives you this selection. So go to dot Minecraft, for example. If you have another file where you want to find it, uh, it's fine too. And then choose, for example, this pack. Um, and nothing really happens except you can see the name right here, which is really cool. And then for example, the iron sword looks a little different than my pack than from the normal faithful one. Uh, I I actually. Just retextured it. So there you go. You can select anything you like and just by using custom one. You can also do this for blocks, such as I know that Sfax has a really different beacon block. So as you see, it's now yellow. Um, and I know that the beetroot seeds look really cool in Faithful because they're really thin instead of those thick leaves, which is also really cool. Um, so yeah, that's the selection I made for this uh, this uh, pack here. It's a bit of a strange pack, I admit, but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, next, you can add two other packs if you want, so you're not stuck to one pack. You also have a safe location where this is basically where the where the pack is exported. So it defaults to drop Minecraft, but if you want a custom one, just uncheck this and get your own resource pack directory. It's uh, that's really simple. It's the same sequence as uh, the getting your own pack. Uh, you can also set a base pack. So for example, if you want the base pack not to be default, but you want all textures to be faithful and just a few to be changed, uh, just go click faithful here. It takes a little while again because it has to reload all the textures. It's, it, it just takes a while. Um, and yeah, there you have your own base pack. You can also rename your pack. So if you want to make your pack like awesome pack, change it right here. Done. Now the only thing left to do here is to click generate. Um, and I, yeah, this again takes a little while, so I'm going to click it and stop recording and show the result afterwards. Okay, so it's done after about four or five minutes, and it, that that time is the same for every pack. So if you decide to generate a whole lot more textures, that time is exactly the same, which is nice. So as you see, your pack has been generated, and there here's my file location, which is nice. So if you forgot where you stored it, then there you go. There, uh, that's your location. So I've actually opened that. There you go. And as you see, awesome pack is at the top. And then let's go into assets, Minecraft textures. And then blocks, there is our beacon and our beetroot states stage 3. And the items, there are our swords. 
which is nice and basically this is already in Minecraft it has the required uh, data to it so you can just play Minecraft now with my new with your new resource pack which is really really cool so yeah that's all for the, for my pack the download link is in the description um, which will link you to my website and uh, there's a download and some more information on there so thanks for uh, enjoying and hopefully using this tool uh, I will be making more tools in the description if you ha enjoyed this please check out my other videos uh, they are linked in the description as well well that's all for today I hope you enjoyed see you later guys bye